Hey YouTube and my Pandora family, welcome back to another session with me, your share, as I share my love for Pandora, with whom all will listen. Hello, hello, I hope everyone is doing well. I hope that everyone is in good health and in good spirit. Um, today, I wanted to talk about my top five designs. This actually came from when I did um, my entire Pandora collection, um, three-part series. I asked which one would be your favorite bracelet design, and I was also asked that same question. You know, I love all of them so, so very much. So, pick five, my top five bracelet designs. I asked what was considered when I made these picks. Color, you know, the dangles, the structure of the bracelet, the balance, also the way it feels, you know, the weight of it, the comfort of the bracelet, and believe it or not, it's curves. Like how it feels in your hands, like holding it, the curves of it. A lot of people probably consider the meaning, which I did consider the meaning, but not as much. Also, the design. And when I say design, I mean the attraction to the placement of the charms. Sounds weird, huh? And then the other part is the actual charms itself. Um, meaning, um, if I have a lot of charms on one design that I just love. Like, I'm so crazy about them charms. Nine times out of 10, that's gonna probably be in my pick as well. Let me just go through my stack of the day. And my stack of the day is my loved um, locket. And this is my Pandora um, padlock locket. And I have on my guidance bracelet, my beaded parve, and the love pods. And I really don't have anything on this hand today, just my fireworks bangle. And that's, that's it. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Picking my first bracelet, I'm not going in any order. It was hard enough to pick my top five. So I'm just going to go right in and there's no order. So get ready for the first one of the five that I picked from my blue bracelet. Boom. This made my top five, my blue, one of my blue bracelets. Um, if you remember, I don't have a particular name for this bracelet, but I did pick this as my top five. I love the way this one feels. I love the way it feels in my hand. I love the comfort. I don't know why, but I mean that I love it. And of course, I love the bracelet that is on. I love this um, Pave style um, bracelet. I love it. So... I mean, hey, that's one. Another one of my picks out of my top five is, of course, my wedding bracelet. This one is another one. And this is my wedding bracelet. I love the gold, the gold and the gold accent charms it has two of my favorite hearts up here which is the lavishing heart and i love this two-tone heart the balance is um not right for me on this one so but the meaning outweighed everything so that's why this one made it my wedding bracelet and made the top five. 
Yep, that's right. I don't know if you guessed it, but my Snow White bracelet was another one of my picks. The dangles got me. My Snow White bracelet made the top five. It's heavy. I love the curves, the structure, the dangles. Also, the meaning of it, mm, not so much the meaning, um, and not so much the design far as the attraction to the placement of the charms. But the actual charms, when you get to that, the actual charms, is so many of them up here that I just love individually. Um, I love the apple. I love the the magic mirror. I love the book. I love the castle. I love the birds. I love the spacers I got up here. I love, love, love the um, snowflake charm. I love the evil queen one. It's so... The red Marano's I love. I just love the little book. I love, I love like every single charm. So that's why Snow White made it into my top five. Okay. Oh yeah. We can't forget this beauty. I had to pick this one too, my Ravishing Enchantment bracelet. My Ravishing Enchantment bracelet most definitely made the top five. The look and the color most definitely. I love the look of it. I love the colors. I absolutely love the colors. Um, the structure of it and the balance. Now, um, the way it feels. I love the way it feels. The weight of it. Um, its curves and things of that nature. Maybe not so much. Um, the design, the um, for the design, the attraction of the placement of the charms. I really love that. I love the placement of the charms. I love um, the charms going basically back and forth in the Cherise shine and versus the just the silver charms or the CZs um, and the actual charms. That's a biggie for this particular design. Because it's not a single charm up here that I don't think on this bracelet is absolutely beautiful. So, that is why my Ravishing Enchantment made my top five. Oh yes, most definitely my personality bracelet is one of my top five picks. My personality bracelet. Love the way that it feels. Love the comfort of it. I actually put it on one of my older bracelets. So, you know, it's a little bit more flexible. So the comfort is there. I have the dangles. And this is um far as like the weight. I love the weight. I love the balance. I love the curves of this. Um the meaning. Huh, huh. The meaning here is here. But it wasn't because of the meaning. But I mean, hey, the meaning makes it all the better. So the design wise, like the attraction to the placement. Um, I really love that as well. I love the pinks. Um, the actual charms as well up here. I mean, it's basically like all the Moranos I like. My favorite heart in the whole world that made me start collecting. 
Um, I have my initial up here. You know, I have the fact that, you know, I'm Capricorn up here. And let's not forget my keys. I love the keys. That is why my personality bracelet is in my top five. It's also my most viewed um, video, my bracelet designs. So, that would be my top five. Please like, subscribe, and comment. I want to thank everybody so, so much for watching. And also let me know what you think about my five picks. Also, thank you so, so very much because I reached 400 subscribers, another milestone. And I'm so, so, so very happy about that. Thank you so much. And as always, God bless.